Hello everyone. So I'll be creating a series of videos explaining the Roblox API. Now, if you're a scripter, I would say you should learn the Roblox API. So the API stands for Application Programming Interface. And here you see is a part of the interface. So what is the Roblox API? Well, you can communicate. It shows you how to communicate with the game engine. So I'll show you an example here in the part class. I'll go inside there. You can see more details about part. If I go down to properties here, you know that in Roblox Studio, you also have a window for properties and for the part properties. So what I want to do is I want to change the transparency. Here. So I'll go down to transparency. So here we can see it's more detail about the transparency property. So we can read, we can read what it does. Um, and this float here tells us what we should change it to. So if I go inside, you can click on the float, you'll see it's a number. So it means we should assign uh, it, the transparency to a number. Let me show you how we can do that. So inside Roblox Studio, let's open the Explorer and Properties window. Next, we'll go into click on this plus sign on workspace and I'll add a part. So I'll type in part, select part, and I'll also add a script here. So select plus sign, type in script. So let's delete the sprint. And what I need to do is I need to reference part. So in Explorer, we need to find workspace and then part. So how I would do that is I would type in workspace dot and the name of the part. So make sure it's the exact same name as your part. Then the property is transparency. And I'll say equal to 0 0.5. I want to make it half transparent. So one way you can test is you can click here on test and then click on run. So as you can see here, our part is a little bit see-through. Alright, let's stop the game. So you can go here to the top and click this red square. Now back at our part API reference, I want to show you another example. Go down until you fi find functions. So here I want to use this functions apply impulse. So what it will do, it will give an impulse to the part. So you, and with this vector C, you can say which direction. Now back in Roblox Studio, let's go to a script. I'll select from here. And let's reference the part again. Workspace dot part. And now we say colon and then the name of the function. So now inside this left and right parentheses, I want to add a vector three. Then we say dot new. So then we need to pass three arguments. Uh, so three numbers. I'll put in 0, 500 and another 0. So these are the three axes. X, Y and Z. So click on here. As you can see here, this axis, this, I'm going to push it up in the Y direction. This is the X and this is the Z direction. Okay, now let's test the game. So click here on test. And also make sure you click on the run. As you can see, the part moved in the y direction upwards. Next, I want to show you how you can find the API reference page for other classes. So we already looked at the parts API reference. So click on this, this plus and then click over here. Here you can see is multiple classes. So I want to find the class for click detector. How would I do that? So let me select it also. And now I have click detector added. And what you do is you click, click on it. Then you go into properties. And here at class name, remember this name here, click detector. Then we'll go to Google's search engine. Type in the Roblox. Then that class name, so click detector. And in space API. And you can press enter and 
So click on this page. So here we have found the API reference for click detector.